Today I want to talk to you about um, masturbation, basically. Um, now, <laughs> I know it's a bit of a taboo subject when people mention the word masturbation. Everybody runs a mile, okay? But actually, the desire to masturbate is perfectly normal. Now, I emphasise the desire to masturbate is perfectly normal, okay? But, I believe as a Christian, masturbation is a sin, okay? And this video is for other Christians, young Christians who believe the same, but feel powerless to have any sort of victory over it. Now, I've been a slave to this sin, okay? I'll be honest about that, for many years prior to this year, prior to today. Um, and um, it was it had been very difficult my whole life to uh, throw this sin off, okay? It's been a constant bane in my side. Sometimes along with that has gone pornography, and I've looked at things I shouldn't have looked at, okay, in the past. And a lot of this has led me to feel guilty, okay? The thing is, is if you feel guilty about masturbating and looking at porn, you're going to do it more, okay? I'm not suggesting that you should just think it's all right, okay? You need to acknowledge that when these things happen that you have actually sinned, okay? But there's a difference between acknowledging that you've sinned and feeling guilty constantly about your sin, okay? And I want to clear up two misconceptions about masturbation. The first one is that if you don't masturbate, it will all be pent up inside of you and um, it will do you some sort of a damage. That's a load of rubbish. When a man doesn't masturbate for a time, he goes to sleep and he has what's called a wet dream. You would have been taught this in sexual education, so there's nothing new, okay? And um, secondly, uh, people believe that if they, if they don't masturbate, then um, the, the feeling of wanting to masturbate will continue and continue until they do. In other words, when you're in the in the zone of feeling incredibly like masturbating, you feel that that feeling will never disappear. It will, okay? If you, if you put your mind on something else, do something else, it will disappear, okay? So I wanted to clear up those two misconceptions about masturbation before I continue on some of the things you can do to avoid this, avoid doing this, okay? Firstly, wash your bedding. If you've been masturbating on your bed, okay, wash your bedding. Get, get clean bedding on, okay, this will help. This will help in your fight against wanting to commit this sin um, next time, okay? The second advice I can give to you is stop feeling guilty, okay? Masturbation is probably the most popular sin that anybody commits, both man and woman. I'm not saying that, that it's, it's, it's okay, okay? But it's probably, out of all the sins anyone can ever commit, pornography and masturbation are probably the two most common, particularly amongst men, okay? So if we get terribly guilty about it, what happens is, is we end up masturbating again. So we end up masturbating, you feel guilty, you masturbate because you feel guilty, then you feel guilty because you masturbate, and the cycle goes on and on, and it's just, it's just a constant cycle, okay? The only way you can break that cycle is to realise that regardless of how of what you've sinned, God loves you. God loves you and God accepts you. God doesn't think you're dirty, okay? God wants you to turn around from that. All he wants is for you to turn, to stop doing it. That's all he wants. He doesn't want to berate you. He doesn't want to beat you with a stick. Um, he doesn't want to shame you, okay, for it, okay? He just wants to love you and wants a relationship with you. Now, the problem with masturbation is it stops Christian people from having the right relationship with Jesus. And um, after you've masturbated, you can feel like God's turned his back on you. But he hasn't. In reality, you've turned your back on God. God never turns his back on you. You turn your back on God through the action of sinning. Okay? So turn back. Do it as quickly as possible. Get on the back on the horse as quickly as possible. If you've masturbated the previous night, the next morning, listen to praise music. Um, get your mind filled with the right stuff so you don't do it again. Because repentance is not sin singing, sinning in the same way again. Repentance is changing your mind about sin, okay? And that's what you need to do. Now, there are some practical steps you can take, okay? Firstly, go for a walk, get some exercise, um, join the gym, uh, join a sports club, badminton, soccer. 
anything to get your uh, you feeling better about yourself. Because the reason people masturbate more often than not is because they don't feel right about themselves. They feel inadequate. They don't feel good about about who they are. Okay, so to change that, get involved in sports because playing sports, doing exercise releases um, sort of the right sort of ferrin. They, they release a sort of happiness, serotonin. That's it. It releases that. Okay, the more you sort of exercise, go for a long walk. Okay, I can understand that if you get tempted to uh, masturbate during the night, it can be very difficult to do any of these things. But if you haven't got work or school the next day, it might be good to put your trainers on and go for a run or something. Get sweat it out, go for a run, and then get showered and go back to bed again. You might end up lying in the morning again, but that's that's okay if you've got work or school. The other thing as well is, is if you wake up in the morning, get out of bed straight away. Don't lay and let thought think about things in your bed. Get out of bed straight away get showered immediately and get on with your day that's really really important for overcoming um this sin so you know all these things contribute to, to building up a lifestyle that helps you combat the desire to masturbate and look at porn okay the other thing is go and socialize the few friends that you have if you've got a few only a few friends socialize with them yeah spend time with them the other thing as well is be busy follow, have passions and follow them Follow all your passions, do stuff. Don't be sat too much on the computer with nothing to do. Do stuff that's productive, like um, coursework or writing or making YouTube videos like this. <laughs> you do something that's going to occupy your mind because masturbation isn't anything to do with your sexual organs. It's to do with what goes on up here, okay? It's a sin of the mind. It's not a sin of the sexual. It plays how? In your sexual organs but the, the battle is run one here it's, it's the same for pornography okay if you look at porn you know, you're looking at naked women and that the battle started and been lost here okay it's, it's not a good idea the, the other thing um to do is purge your computer system no, it's not to hide what you're doing but to get rid of the the images that so you could so easily obtain had you not pur purged your system okay do that um, and that will help as well. Praising the Lord. Put put your headphones on and put praise music on. Listen, let your mind be saturated with the truth and with with up, uplifting uh, rhema uh, stuff about who you are as a Christian. Um, don't be bogged down by the accusations of Satan because Satan is the accuser of the brethren. And if you feel in accused, you're more likely to engage in these sorts of sins, okay? Because when you feel inadequate, when you feel worthless, this is when these sexual sins come upon you because that's the battle in the mind and it plays out through your through your sexuality. Okay, so really important that um, that you do that. Go to church, you know, get to know people at church, things like this. Uh, just be as active as you can be. Okay, if read the Bible before you go to bed. Um, a very famous man, um, he was the leader of the Christian Men's Network, sadly passed away now, Dr. Edwin Lewis Cole said, it's a good idea for a man to wake up and read a chapter of Proverbs and go to bed reading uh, a psalm. And then he cleanses his mind before sleep, okay? Best thing to do, really. So, obviously this video is only for people who want to stop masturbating. If you're not somebody who wants to stop masturbating, none of this is going to make make any sense to you it's not it's not the work okay so yeah and it will be a struggle but if you do fall get back on that horse okay get back to listening to your praise music reading the bible as quickly as you possibly can do otherwise you'll end up doing it again 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 okay and you won't be able to stop because the guilt will be a fuel for you to carry on doing it okay thank you for watching